But tonight, a deadly shooting at a home with children inside was the result of a planned robbery. This according to investigators in Claremont County. And now two people, including a minor, are charged with murder in the case. Nine on your side's Mariel Carbone spoke with police chief today. And Mariel, what is he saying? Well, he says that this is the first homicide that the township has seen in the last five or six years, but that neighbors don't need to be worried because this was a planned attack and those that they believe to be involved in this are now behind bars. People were shocked. People were, are, are feeling um, uneasy, thinking that this might not be a random act and might be you know, or might be a random act. But officials say it wasn't random. 25 year old Christopher Jordan Ketchering knew his alleged killers. We know that they went there with an intent of robbery. All, all the persons are known to each other, so it's it's not a random act. Today, officers arrested this man, 20 year old Bryson Nicholas, for murder and aggravated robbery. A second suspect who is a minor is also charged. Police say two children and six adults were at this Ward's Corner home when the attempted robbery and murder happened. I'm not sure exactly what they were going after, but yeah, money, money would be one of them. Yeah, my son had been shot. Tuesday night, Kettering's father spoke exclusively to Nine on Your Side and said his son had a past and was working to turn his life around. He's no saint, but he was my boy, you know, and I tried. Mills says drugs may have been involved. The police department is now hoping the arrests can bring closure to the neighborhood. It's been a traumatic experience for everybody, and they're dealing with it, and we're dealing with those issues right now. And uh, Mills says that the detectives worked for about 24 hours straight in the immediate aftermath of this attack. That's how they were able to find the first suspect so quick. That was the minor. And then further investigation led them to Bryson Nicholas. Reporting live from the Miami Township Police Department, Marielle Carbone, 9 on your side. Mary